before we start the video, I want to take this time to shout out my KOG member of the month, Ryan McDonough. Big thanks for being a loyal KOG member. If you want your name here, consider hitting that join button for exclusive channel benefits. Feel the How's it going guys? RNG Life here, and today we're showing off an interesting thing that you guys probably saw from the thumbnail. But basically, I've, I've made a deck that yesterday I tried to make the perfect just speed uh, speed uh, auto farm deck to get you all your points and whatever fast. Uh, now I and I spent like a good eight nine hours working on this particular build that is just made to deal intense pure damage. Uh, but it's only it's only works when you do a uh, turbo duel. So we're gonna be doing that right now, and then I'll show you guys the deck uh, towards the end. All right, so. Here he is, the uh, Earthbound Immortal Big Thick Boy. Alright, so, uh, the benefit of Turbo Duel is that it's apparently like a 3 on 1 duel or whatever. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, so he's got a, actually he doesn't have that many that many life points. Uh, I expected a lot more life points on this one. Uh, I think somebody else already jumped in and, and tried to deal some damage. Uh, but basically what we're trying to do right now, let's see. Um, this hand is, eh, it's alright. I would have really, really liked to start with more draw power though. So, that's also a really good card to start with. So yeah, I had the concept of uh, making this deck by using a desynchro, resynchro kind of strategy. So let's go ahead and get things started. But first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get my points up to max. Then we're gonna wait up until the third turn to get our uh, big majestic dragon. And we have to end it all on that turn because that big dragon's gonna leave on that turn, which kind of sucks. So uh, let's go ahead and summon our Gemba. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off a nice quick synchro right now. I'm gonna go into this Vermilion Dragon next. So bam, big boy out here. So cool. Now we got a big large monster. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this Gold Sarcophagus because the most important card in the deck is Desynchro. Desynchro is like an amazing card. Uh, it just it just gets all our plays. So the more Desynchros we have on that last turn, the higher the chances that we can super huge multiply. So let's go ahead and just deal some uh, damage right now. It doesn't matter as long as I have a monster that just is out on the field, you don't want to let him have a monster either, because he'll synchro, make things annoying for you. So, uh, he's gonna go for some draw power, pretty good. Unfortunately, I didn't draw all my draw power, which is kinda lame. Uh, Gold Sark, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to use Gold Sark, so... For now, I just kinda have this. Whatever you have on turn one, that is what you're gonna be using. Uh, after turn one, all those cards are pretty much just fodder in the hand. Uh, so right now, what we could do is probably just pull off another Gold Sark, maybe... I. If, probably won't work to be honest uh whatever it is after this turn is kind of useless so i think i might as well just beat down uh i don't know if i even want to go for the ability of a million dragon mech i think i'm good to be honest uh i could technically get rid of another gemba but not really what i want to do so let's go ahead and battle all right so get that guy out of here doesn't matter about his uh dealing damage right now because we're gonna one shot this mad lad dude so it's gonna be pretty interesting so here it is, a new miracle happened, the strength of the friendship. So bam, we get we get a big, large monster, and we naturally drew it. Oh, this is looking pretty nice. All right, so we actually have all three copies, which is legitimately amazing. And he got no monsters, so that's just, uh, he's just gifting us this win right now. So let's go ahead and activate our uh, speed spell oration, whatever acceleration are. Uh, so we're gonna go use the, the last one, which is eight counters. The attack of synchro monsters you control is multiplied by five until the end of this turn. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. So times five right here. So that's pretty nice. Now you see this big monster right now? He's kind of a waste. I also think this guy's mo attack gets multiplied by five when he deals damage. So it, it multiplies even greater. So I'm gonna use this bad boy over here and I'm just gonna use his ability to kind of just get rid of himself. Let's, or let's get rid of one of these bad boys. And let's target himself. Uh, why? Because I need that open slot on the field. Also, I mean, adding another Gimba to hand is not really, it's not, it's not bad at all. Uh, so there we go, pretty nice. Now we have just more cards in hand. Now it would be, it would be interesting if I also had my uh, other Plague Spreader option, but nah. Uh, so let's go ahead and do things now. So now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and start with our Naturia Rose Whip. Uh, Rose Whip is essential to starting off the combo, so uh, Rose Whip, Verger, so we need what grows in the graveyard. So now we get to pull this off, we get to go for that big old cowboy Wayne. So uh, X-Saber Wayne is here and he's able to do his thing which lets him special summon a monster from my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out that Gemba, free Gemba. 
All right, so that's pretty nice. I'm at seven counters right now. So let's go ahead and uh, sink it up into my Black Rose. Now, I've tried a lot of level seven monsters and there's really not many that are better than Black Rose. The only thing about Black Rose is you gotta be really, really careful when you don't, like, when you're not reading and you're trying to automatically play it. Like, these duels, you don't automatically play. Uh, you have to really make sure you say no to Black Rose. You can't let Black Rose do its thing, dude. Black Rose will ruin the party. All right, so now we're going to go multiply again, dude. Another five. So this is 25 times damage right here. Uh, so 25 times power up on this mad lad. Uh, and now, what else we got? What else we got? I think I'm going to go ahead and start pulling off all the all the desynchro options. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to desync it up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, you. So you go away, special summon one of my uh, monsters or both of them. So they come right back, which is awesome. Now I get to synchro it all over again, and that's pretty cool. So bam. I also really want to try this with fortune ladies. Like I really, as soon as I made this deck, I was like, ah, oh, crap. I want to try with fortune ladies now, dude, because that could be adding cards to hand. Uh, so I might have a, an, a, another version of this, maybe, a implying that it, this video does well. If it doesn't, then I, I won't cover it. Uh, but no Black Rose effect. Uh, do we have it? No, not yet. Not yet. We're close, though. So now we're going to desync it up again. Uh, so let's get rid of you once again. Uh, special summon a monster. Yes, both of them. Here they are, one and two. So yeah, the desynchro option is just really, really fun. It's really interesting to just pull off all these plays. Uh, so now, bam, we did it all over again. And we're just going to keep doing that until we can uh, amass all our uh, counters and whatever. And always say no to Black Rose. I've said yes once and it triggered me very hard. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, remove eight counters. And we're going to multiply again. What is five times five? I think it's like 125. So 125 times damage right here, which is kind of insane. Uh, now the rest, I could just end it here. And that could be pretty cool because I don't think I can um, get any more additional attacks or uh, multipliers because of the fact that I can't really do anything with this hand. If I had double summon and a few other things, then yeah, I could do more things. But right now I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of stuck. Let's go ahead and battle right here. All right, that's some damage. And then this is going to be complete lethal. Keep an eye on the damage. Bam! That's a lot of damage right there, dude. Whew. So yeah, as you can see, the deck is kind of cheesy. And I didn't even get to like max multiplier, dude. I can get more multiplier multipliers, but I still need double summon, and I need my uh my all my synchros, uh, desynchros, and whatever to actually pull off. But whatever, Let's go ahead and check on that deck. Look at that score, dude. Let's see what we got. A, a pretty large score, but as you can see, I've gotten higher. I've gotten a lot higher. Two what? Uh, Two hundred and forty-one. Not even two million four hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred. I've gotten a lot higher of, uh, but that's only the damage you deal. Uh, it's, it's not the actual multiplier, which I've, I don't know. I don't know. It's still kind of interesting, but we'll, we'll see. All right. So there we go. We got those. By, by the way, I got, I got lucky and got one copy of Black Salvo, <laughs> but whatever. Let's go ahead and check that deck. And here is the deck. This is the deck that I, I was uh, showing off in the duel. Now it might look like a mess. But it's because I've been testing it all day and, and swapping in cards and out cards, as you can see from these. I actually deleted my history, so these are all just cards I've been adding afterwards. Uh, as you can see, because I don't have like the the these cards in the history, or at least some of them, like cold gold, sorry. Uh, but yeah, so I've been testing out quite a few things, trying to make this deck even more consistent. Uh, earlier, I was like going all all in with a uh, ledger main, and then I realized that this doesn't work in this deck because by the time that you have, if you activate it turn one, by the time you have your majestic dragon doesn't matter you're not gonna get your draws because <laughs> you only have like three turns to do your thing so ledger main is completely out of it i cut it out this card is uh, pretty much uh, garbage in this deck it's unusable um so yeah i went for other draw cards like shard of greed uh that's a little bit better but it is a box card so rip dude uh, so yeah, we're using two copies of Junk Synchron. I'm using one copy of Plague Shredder Zombie because if you can have this guy in the grave, uh, getting his ability just, just to come right back out and pull off more Synchros can get you a lot more uh, whatever speed counters or whatever, which are really, really good. Uh, two copies of Rose Whip. and I, I was running these guys at max before, but I feel like it's overkill. You don't really need it. Uh, if you, you haven't met both at two, you have a really good chance of just having them, which is cool. I haven't had one game yet where I just completely brick and don't can't do anything but that's i don't know dude that's that's just because it's only been a few like i've only tested it like eight times max i think in turbo dual format so that's the thing uh two copies of gemba now gemba was like a, a very very necessary tech 
Um, I was trying to focus on Plague Spreader to do some plays, but uh, Gemba is way better because you can use Wayne and Gemba, just pure synergy. You basically get an extra level with with Gemba and, and Wayne, so it helps out a lot. I'm um, using three copies of Gold Sark. Now, this is a pure money card, so I can understand if you guys don't have it. If you guys want, you can actually max out on Different Dimension Capsule. Uh, to begin with, I was running uh, three copies of Capsule, three copies of Gold Sark. And that was pretty much so I can get that starting hand, so I can guarantee that I get a desynchro or two in my final hand on turn three or four or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, it really, really helps out with when you have more, more of these, so you can max out on them desynchros. Uh, because it was really really good now a card I just recently added is into the void this is I haven't used it yet but I added it to the deck this this one was just like I was like I want more draw power so I used into the void also to get your your double summon and whatever because I also run double summon double summon is really really good because you get another normal summon uh, so you get to bring out another monster uh, maybe synchro again with that rose whip but you're probably gonna bring out another monster and uh, synchro with the monster you have on the field to go into a level 10 or a level 9 so you get your your black rose on that last turn and then we had double summon and a level three or a two monster in hand we would be able to synchro again into a level uh, nine or a ten now i consider taking out the ten and going for a level eleven and and just going vermilion dragon mech into uh what's his name uh star eater and i thought that would be pretty interesting as well but it, it's too it's too uh i don't know I, I feel like it probably won't work but that's that's focusing on plague spreader uh but yeah the deck is kind of cheesy though, you're running all these cards to draw cards and whatever, uh, on that last turn you go for the desynchro play, and uh, yeah, and all these cards are really really good for just searching your things. Uh, so let's go ahead and end this all out on that uh, replay that I had from an earlier game. Alright, so here's that replay I was talking about, uh, this is basically I think one of my better games. Uh, in testing, I think this was one of the recent tests actually, uh, because I, I recently added that um, that one into the void card, but I never really got to use it though, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, uh, as you can see, starting off with desynchros is really really strong. So yeah, as as for what we got now, I mean, we pretty much go for this standard play. I think on this one it was fairly slow too. Uh, because I didn't get a level 2 monster until a while, so I had to actually go for Gemba because I already had all my desynchros in hand. So, I just had to beat down and not normal summon anything until I can get my hands on Gemba. So, I felt like this this game was going to be a completely bad garbage game and it's not going to work out. But, it turned out to be one of my better games. And it would have done way better if I would have actually had a, a good starting hand. I probably would have gotten more multipliers. Uh, because we only started with, uh, what is it? Uh, I think we had six counters on that on that main turn. So six counters, we have our search, so very, very nice. Now we get to summon that Gemba and then do the plays. So as you can see, searching Gemba was very, very important because having Gemba on that final turn is just super awesome. That and the desynchro, those cards are very important. Also double summon helps out a lot. So those are your main important cards. So uh, now we're using Mech to destroy himself so we can clear the field as, as we did before, adding Gemba right back to hand. Now we use double summon to summon another monster, and then we can go for the rose whip. We only had to do that because we because we, we didn't have um we we didn't we had to kind of do an, that play on this last turn. We could have done it a turn before, but unfortunately I didn't have Gemba, so we had to waste our double summon on uh, pulling out our rose whip. And we could have probably no, normal summoned that earlier. Uh, so Black Rose is now here. We're doing the same play as before when we just go over and over into it, and then of course multiplier stats. Uh, and yeah, and then this is the ability of Black Rose that's really beneficial. You can get rid of your Dark Verger, make their monster face up, and it's a zero. So this would also completely ruin their uh, their monster. That's the reason why I chose Black Rose over any other level seven. Um, so that's a, that's another helpful factor. So now we're just gonna desynchro over and over. Keep doing it. Desynchro, synchro. I really, really want to try a Fortune Lady version though. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have already tried a Fortune Lady version because that's the next thing on my mind. I'm just like, I want to do it. All right, so let's see what we got now. We have this final play. I want to see how I actually ended it. Did I go into level 10? I don't think so. No, uh, no, I didn't. Uh, so now we got Black Rose because there's some games where I go into the level 10 and that one has its own little uh, variant. Uh, but whatever, we get to actually pull this off. The attack is huge as well. I actually did, did what? 2,375,000 damage. So 2,375,000 damage. 
Uh, so yeah, <laughs> kind of a lot of damage right there, as you can see. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think of the deck. Let me know if you guys can actually help me out with making this deck more, uh, the multipliers much higher. Because, dude, I love making numbers go up. That is just a, a thing that I just I really enjoy. So as soon as I was like, let's see how high we can do the damage on this guy. So I wasted my whole day making this video. So I hope you guys leave likes and whatever, because I really need them. Because I wasted my whole day. But hey, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're all in quarantine anyway, so it doesn't matter. But whatever, that's pretty much that. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see you.